Let's take a moment to talk about so-called complex fractions. Remember that a fraction had a numerator and denominator that were whole numbers. So a fraction is any number that can be expressed as numerator over denominator, where the denominator is not zero. What if we allow fractions to be written in those places? A complex fraction is a number expressed in the form n over d, where n and d themselves might be fractions. So for example, we might have 5 sevenths over 9 thirteenths. That would be a complex fraction. Notice that when you write complex fractions, it, it's important to make it clear which is the main fraction bar. Draw it bigger or something. We call this the main fraction bar because it's separating the fraction in the numerator from the fraction in the denominator. What do we do with something like this? Well, what we do with something like this is to simplify it, make that thing go away. How? Well, recall again, one of the ways that we understood 2 thirds was as 2 divided by 3. Similarly, we can understand this complex fraction as a division problem. And now we can just work out that division problem normally. And in fact, looking at that division problem, the normal way that I'm going to work it out is to use my calculator. So I have 5 sevenths divided by 9 thirteenths. Again, it's very important that each of my fractions be in parentheses. And I want my answer to be formatted as a fraction. Oh, so this fraction is equal to 65 60 thirds. Right now, notice what we've done here, what we've accomplished. We've taken this complex fraction and simplified it into a just a fraction. And that is typically what we want to do when we encounter a complex fraction. Simplify it into a regular fraction. Why? Because this thing looks awful. Complex fractions are in general hard to read. Therefore, we prefer to simplify them into normal fractions.